Hey y'all, this is Pam again with Mesa Lance Designs, and today our Zumo's tutorial is going to be um, kind of fun. We're going to look at how we can customize our planner. Um, sometimes we get a planner and we like it for the most part, but there may be a couple of things that we want to change that we'd like different, or maybe after we get it we decide, you know what, I think I might want this particular section added. Like I did last year, I decided I wanted a, you know, a daily section, and so I was able just to add it, you know, using Zoom Notes to my planner. So um, let's take a look and see how we do this. First off, let's say you get your planner and you just don't really care for the tab colors. Okay, so we can come over here to our Fill Tool, this little highlighted part at the side right there. Um, looks like a little, I guess, oil can or something and we can um, pick the color we want to change it to. So let's just say we're going to make it this nice bright yellow. And then we just uh, click on the section. And I like to scroll scroll in so we can finish um, filling it in. And then sometimes this part down here is a little bit tricky because you have to, you know, I kind of tap over it a couple times to see if we can get those tiny lines filled in. Okay, actually, it's not going to really show when you're really zoomed out, but if you don't care for it, and I typically, you know, try to cover it up, I can come up here to uh, the pen tool, pick the same color. Whoops, I don't want it that thick. And then we can just color over it. and that will stay, that's not gonna move. However, what we should have done in the beginning, and I do this semi-regularly, I'm still um, not in the complete habit of starting off with my layers like I need to. So let's come up to the lasso tool, erase everything we just did, come up here to the layers tool to the top right, click master layers, Click the plus sign and I'm going to label this one my extra tabs. That way we're just going to do all the work that we're doing today is going to be on this one layer. So this will be extra tabs. We need to make sure that it's unlocked and that we've clicked it that that's the current layer that we're working on. Okay, now we go back out, come back over here to this little oil can. We've got our yellow already picked. So we're going to fill in um, our tab again because if we don't do it on master layers, then it's not going to show up on every single um, page. And that's kind of key because then we don't have to worry about copy and pasting a ton of times. So we come pick the pen tool and cover it up for the most part. And um, down there at the bottom, we can see where it's, we can still see some pink. And sometimes that comes off as being, you know, the color that it is. But it also, from a little bit of a distance, um, looks like a shadow. So again, it's really personal preference on, on what you want to do. Sometimes it's easier to fill it in. And sometimes it's kind of not worth it because that messes up. Now, see, that one was really easy. And I'm just going to leave that like that. So that's how we would do that if we just wanted to change the tab color. But let's say this next one, the tab color's fine, but we don't like um, the word on the stickers. We want it to say something else. So we can either come, uh, we're on the fill tool, we can come to... Um, the color palette through the fill tool and we can pick one of those but if we don't have this particular color that's on this tab we can come up here to the color picker and we can pick the color oh, sorry come down here to our color palette and we excuse me we can just temporarily add it to um, one of our palettes, if we don't think it's something we're going to use or if we want to take and create a separate palette, we can do that. And I have a video on that. We can come over here to where it says mixer because see, I, I left it right here at palette. 
we come to mixture and we just touch this a box at the bottom and once the box pops up we just drag it to the side so then we can pick it now um, for when we want to use it so up here at the uh, color tool we can go at the end pick that same blue and probably want to make it a little bit bigger and we can just very easily cover it up now we can see because of the shadowing of the of how the um, tab was made that we're going to have to be careful um, how low we go so let's try to start that part all over again okay so we can still do it we just want to be more careful we don't go so low so that there's like a little bit of a color and there still is slightly you can see it but again we are scrolled like all the way in once you're scrolled out it's not going to be noticeable so we can just finish this and um, we can type in Let's see, what should we call this one? I think maybe we'll do menu planning. That way we have a section for it. And if we want to take the menu plan when we're done, we can just take it and put it behind our week if we want it for reference. Or we can, you know, leave it here. Okay, so we come up here. I'm over to the side and click the A for a text box and we can type in menu planning and close in that box a little then I click the lasso tool and I put it the size I want Let's scroll out a little more to make it kind of similar to what we already have and I don't have um, that font offhand but that doesn't that doesn't really bother me so much I mean I guess we could make that bigger but that's how you would change the um, color of a tab or change the word that's on the tab now let's look at one more thing let's look at how to add a tab let's say I'm content with all the tabs that we have I have them full and I still needed you know a whole nother section and that's easy to do as well so we come over here to the um, what looks like the lasso tool, but it's really like the sheet tool. Okay, we come up here to this tile part, and I do have a tutorial on this one as well if I'm going um, a little quick. So we need to pick the color uh, we want. Let's look at the fill. Let's pick that matching blue. Let's just do that. Go back to style. Um, we don't want a shadow, and we don't want it symmetrical. Um, we don't want a border, we just want the color. So I think we have it set up. And the corner radius is at 4.5. So we can kind of slide over here. Sorry. And if you want, you can draw it over the existing tab. And see how they're not quite the same. We can... With it still selected, we can come over here and we can round the corners even more to where it's as close to that as we can get. And then we make it basically the same size. Now, I don't know that we could flatten the bottom of it like it is, you know, in the original tab. But let's see if we can see that changed it because we stretched it. So let's go back in here and see how we can round the corner again. Okay, that's, that's pretty much close enough. Okay, and let's see 
if we can um, long press on the shape and you see how this tab uh, at the end says other on the right hand side and um, I'm not sure exactly why this is but sometimes when I use this it works and other times it doesn't I'm not sure if it's the layer that maybe I'm not on right I'm, I'm not sure um, yeah this isn't going to work because probably the layers of the pages but if we put to back sometimes this bottom part we can get to go behind it but that's not going to happen here so we can just make it a different size okay so we'll just we'll just leave that at, at that right now and then we need to figure out okay where do we want this to go so let's open up um, our thumbnail view okay here at the very end okay uh, right before the last green page let's go ahead and add a blank page and I know right now because I've already looked my blank page is back here at 101 so I'm gonna click edit I'm gonna click 101 and then I need to know what page I want to copy it to so let's put it right before this green one so we can see um, exactly where we have it later so that's page 106 so I click copy to page 106 and I have a video on this too and I did it again it went right after instead of right before so I can just long press and hold and bring it and pull it right back before the page okay so while we're here let's click on this page and we're just um We'll type the word dailies so we know that um, we've got the right page and we'll make it big just so I can show you that it's easier to see in the thumbnail view okay so let's go back up here to our page we were right here we're going to write the same word or maybe you just want to type um, daily and not dailies. It, it, I mean, it's personal preference. That's what I love about Zoom Notes. You can make it uh, the app exactly how you want it, and then you can, you know, customize your planner exactly how you want it. And Zoom Notes doesn't do everything um, that maybe some other apps will. <coughs> Excuse me. But um, it does a whole lot more than uh, most note-taking apps. So let's come back over here to the Shape tool. First, we've got to click on our box, come to the shape tool, and if you noticed up here at the top, there's a couple of extra menu features. So we're going to click on the word link. Make sure it says uh, page and direct. And then it says not linked. We click the arrow. And then we find the page we want to link it to. Okay, so um, sometimes it might be harder to see, like the page numbers are exactly what's on the page. So that's why I did that. I knew exactly where I wanted to go with it. And I wrote it nice and big and it says dailies. So now I've clicked dailies, done, and it's linked. And so now we have created not only a brand new tab in our planner, but a brand new section. So let's click on the um, zoom feature up here, the zoom tool up at the top. And then when you click on dailies, it takes us to our dailies page. So if you've noticed now that we're on dailies up here at the top, some of the items that we've um, done, that we've worked on, they're not um, colored like we have them back where we were. So let's go back there, scroll out, because see we've got yellow and then we change the name. Come over here to extra tabs. We need to come off of the extra tab a master layer so we click current on underneath the layer underneath it and then we lock that layer so now when we want to click on dailies and we go to dailies it shows us the yearly is now yellow and then the blue we've changed to um, menu planning and then it still shows our dailies over here so that's how you can customize your tabs um, change them to your liking and even add a tab Let's look at um, just a couple more quick things. Okay, let's say you're on a page like this that is um, the graph paper and you wanna use some washi or a sticker or whatever that 
um, is completely transparent. You see, you can see the lines through it, and you're not going to really want that back. That, that bothers me to look at. And so what I've done is come over here to the Shape tool again, and I click Fill, change the color to a white, and I think we leave everything how we had it before, and I just draw a shape. And then I'll come up here and kind of treat it, if you will, like a washi tape, you know, how you resize it to the area that you want it. Now, if this is something you think you're going to want to, you know, use, or you find that you've made this piece several times and you're like, you know what, you know, I need to do something that, that I don't have to do it so many times. So then you can come over here to your shape tool. I mean, your symbols tool, and you can add whatever it is that you, um, whatever, whatever you can lasso. Okay. You see how it selected it? And then I can just save that and then, you know, click on the symbols tool and bring it back out. And I have a video um, on the symbols tool as well. So, and if you wanted to, you could have uh, put this on, on a different layer, but for time's sake, we're not going to right now. And so then I can take my lasso tool. Now see, this is a problem sometimes even in good notes because I had this washi tape on the page before I had the white piece. All you have to do is long press, copy, and paste, and it'll be right there on the top. And then you can just pretty much stretch it out to cover the white piece. That way you won't have <laughs> You won't have to see, you know, the lines behind it. And I think that looks a lot better. Okay, and something else if you wanted to, this is your monthly view. If you wanted to, you know, color in this box when you use the fill-in tool, okay, and you want to fill it in when you're using the grid paper, um, it's just going to fill in the little grid. It's not going to give you the fill-in of the box. But if you want to come back over to the shape tool and we'll keep it on the orange, and we'll do the same thing we've done a couple of other times, is we'll draw a shape. <laughs> Sorry about that. And we left it on white. I thought we had it changed, but I guess not. There we go, it changed it for us. And of course we wanna come back here to the style and change the corner radius to square because we want it to fit right inside that box. And of course, you're probably going to want this part for sure, you know, on a separate layer. Sometimes when I do planning, I will do one layer for stickers and then other layers for stuff like this where I'm covering part of the page up. I'll have that layer even separate from the sticker so that I can place stickers on top of it you know, without it moving. And this way, you know, you can put whatever colors you want across the top. And then like we did on the tab up at the top, we can always just, you know, use the um, text tool and write, you know, the days of the week on top of it. That way, if you wanted a Monday start or a Sunday start, it's, you know, your preference yet again on how you want that done. So I think that's going to be all for how we can customize our planner and now for this tutorial this time. So um, thank you all for watching, and if you uh, like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you can see more of our Zoomos tutorials and possibly good notes in the future. So thank you for watching, and you all have a great day. Bye.